I was working uh, at commun in community theaters here in the Monmouth County, New Jersey area. Uh, First Avenue Playhouse in Atlantic Highlands. Um, I was working out of Monmouth Players in uh, Navasink, uh, the Aberdeen Repertory Theater when it was around up in Aber uh, Aberdeen. And um, the owner of the First Avenue Playhouse had called me, Joe Bagnall, saying that this group of filmmakers were going to use his theater to hold auditions for day players in this film that they were doing um, at the First Avenue Playhouse. And he had called me and I was like, absolutely. And it was the kind of deal where Kevin Smith um, was producing his first film, who lived in the Highlands, knew that this was a theater, that this theater would have contacts with the local acting community, that they would be able to contact him and bring him in to audition for his film. So I came in and they said to come in with a monologue. I was doing a play up at Aberdeen Repertory Theater at the time called um, Wait Until Dark. And actually my co-star in the play was Marilyn Gigliotti who played Veronica in um, Clerks. And so um, when I auditioned, I did this monologue which was pretty much a dialogue that I turned into a monologue from Wait Until Dark. And Kevin really enjoyed my, uh, my audition. He said, you know, I wish I had a villain in my film because it's a because I played this villainous part in Wait Until Dark, Mr. Rote, that he uh, he had me come back and I read for him two other times. I didn't know what the play what the play the film was about. Um, you know, he just gave us small segments of the script, and when I read it, it was the scene where we're in the store talking about how Star Wars, how the Death Star, you know, a lot of people got killed who were just innocent, con you know, independent contractors and all sort of stuff. And I thought it was very very funny, and so. Um, you know, when he, he said, what did I think of the role? I said, it's funny. His friend is really funny in the film. Who are they in the film? Because he really never told me who they were. Because during the audition process at the First Avenue Playhouse, I had asked how many principal characters are there. And they said six, but they're already cast. I was like, oh, okay. So that when he said, you know, what do you think of this character? Do you want to do it? I was like, sure. And I asked, who are they in the film? He said, you know, that character is one of the main characters. I thought, I thought you had cast that already. He said, no, 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 don't worry about that. I'll take care of that. I was like, oh, okay. And that's how it happened, our first film.